pastor slash party promoter. The way this nigga was showing up in Gucci, Fendi, Louis, you would have thought he was doing a music video. He had people coming in and paying for him to be fly. Meanwhile, they was looking for a blessing. Nah, how disrespectful. Look at him today on federal charges, including wire fraud and attempted extortion. Prosecutors say he ripped off a parishioner's retirement savings, and tonight her family is speaking for the first time to News 4's Chris Jose. It's been an emotional roller coaster for the past four years. Rashid Anderson relieved tonight following the conviction of Lamar Whitehead, better known as the Blink Bishop for his lavish lifestyle. A Manhattan federal jury today finding Whitehead guilty of defrauding a parishioner and trying to extort a businessman. It's been a long time coming and we're very happy to see that the verdict was guilty today. Rashid's mother, Pauline Anderson, invested $90,000 of her retirement savings with Whitehead. Prosecutors said he spent the money on luxury goods at Louis Vuitton and Foot Locker and even used Anderson's money to make his car payments. Rashid testified during the trial. You and your mother trusted this guy. Yeah, we trusted him a lot. Whitehead, no stranger to headlines. In July of 2022, he was robbed at gunpoint while delivering a sermon in Brooklyn. The million dollar jewelry heist caught on his church's live stream. Two months ago, one of the men accused of the robbery killed by U.S. Marshals at a New Jersey hotel. This was the guy that put the gun, have a gun pointed just like this in my wife's face, pointed just like this in my eight month old baby's face and then had the gun to the back of my head as he ripped off my jury. Whitehead not yet publicly commenting on his conviction which also includes charges that he tried to force a Bronx businessman to lend him $500,000 while promising access to Mayor Adams. Whitehead claimed he knows the mayor on a personal level. The bishop going to social media after his arrest in December 2022. Just because you was arrested doesn't make you guilty. Jurors found Whitehead guilty of wire fraud, lying to the FBI, and attempted extortion. The trial lasting two weeks. Rashid had prayed for today's outcome. I do want to give thanks to God because he was the one that, you know, revealed the truth and I was able to go up there. Everyone was able to go up there and speak their truth. Whitehead's sentencing is scheduled for July 1st. He faces up to 45. Hey y'all, it's your girl Tay with the T and today we coming to talk about pastor, bishop, bishop, whatever the hell you want to call him, Whitehead. All right, let's get into the factors of how this man was just robbing people for thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, supposedly he did a fake robbery where he got himself set up in front of his whole church and they supposedly got him for $400,000. And then the FBI seen somewhere that the A wasn't going to the B and they had to see some shit that was a little bit extra and find out that this nigga was cold-heartedly lying and he been robbing people for months on end. Now, this is where you got to talk to yourself, my friend. You got to stop placing God in man and find him yourself. God is not in the church building, okay? God is in each and every one of us and you cannot follow your faith by the dollar bill. Just because I don't give a damn how much money you pour into a church church that is not going to get you closer to the Lord now if you choose to pay tithes and that makes you feel good about things because you feel like you're giving another person a blessing then that's something else you don't even have to go to church to do that one hand washes the other and both hands wash the face so you can always bless somebody in another place now my thing is this is not the first pastor, preacher, party promoter, whatever the hell you want to call him. It's been many just like him. Let's talk about Joel, Joel Austin. Let's talk about T.D. Jakes and whoever else want to fall up underneath that plate. Because see, to y'all, y'all see a road closer to God. When all you got to do is open, open your Bible and learn your word. If you can't read, they got videos right here where you you see me you can go on youtube my friend and type in anything that got to do with god and you will get a reading all right now when you start looking into other people and seeking the lord that's not where you're gonna go hard that's where you're gonna fall okay because you have to find him for yourself because all these people see y'all is it's a money sign 
That is it and that is all. They preach a good word, yeah, but it's all with devil ties. Did you hear that? Devil ties. They have ties to the devil because they are not having good intentions with God people at all. If they are taken from the, the, the poor to make themselves rich, what type of closeness to God is that? I'm confused, my friend. Now, you can get on your knees when you are alone. No one got to hear what it is that you got to say other than that man upstairs. These people are collecting money off of people that need someone themselves. And that's why they're going as hard as they are as far as going to the church and putting money into tithes and thinking that they're doing what it is that they're supposed to to stay close to their blessings. But them people in that, in that pulpit or at that pulpit, they not trying to give no blessings. They trying to receive all the blessings. This is a whole mess. Bishop Whitehead, the, listen, this man got on the floor in front of his whole congregation, had someone pull a gun out on his wife and his 10-month-old baby. If that's not the devil playing himself, do you see what greed would lead you to? Now, my thing is bad enough you was robbing these people already. You was already robbing these people, okay? But then now you had to go the extra mile as if you wasn't getting full. You had to go and get another meal and another meal to the point that you had to put it into the front of the church to make them think that it was really real to rob them some more. This man was showing up in the latest designer, okay? Fendi, Gucci, Louis, you name it, he claimed it. Mind you, the same people that were supporting that clothing habit probably didn't even eat that night to play to be able to pay their tithes in church to feel like they're doing God's work. And all this man doing is looking like he about to go do a music video. Like he 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 flexing flexing. He wasn't little flexing, but he's not the only one. See, he wanted everybody to know what it was that he had, and he was living good. See, his letters had to be all over his clothing. That's how thirsty he was. If it was Fendi, it had the Fs. If it was Gucci, it had the Gs. If it was Louis, it had the LVs. Everything ain't got to be seen. And some people feel that if it ain't seen, it don't exist. And that's where they always fuck themselves up. Because they be trying to go so hard to prove to the other person that they live in good. That they wind up overdoing it and killing themselves off. Because at what point are you trying to prove a point to? Are you trying to prove it to them or are you trying to prove it to yourself? Because you know people that never had nothing. Don't know how to act when they got something. You heard that. They gonna have to showboat because they want to feel like they superior to everyone else that's around them. Like, yeah, look how I'm living. Look what I got. Such that's sad. That like that's really sad. At the end of the day, because I got some notes right here, baby. You understand? Before I came, I knew I had some shit to say because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that feels this way. Me. I can't believe in something because somebody tells me that's what I'm supposed to believe in. I have to believe in it within myself. And I don't have to make somebody else wealthy to prove that I'm going or to feel like that's the way that I'm going to receive the blessing from the Lord that I need himself. How me paying this man going to get God's attention? I'm trying to find out my balance with God myself so I can get my shit together. Like, whatever my balance is with the Lord, let me pay it off. That's the person I want to pay my balance to. Not this nigga or that person or whoever else that's going to stand on top of a stage in front of a pulpit with a screen. Like, you at the movies. Like, they be going all out in church now. It ain't like how it used to be. It ain't just small, little, regular, everybody going there to gather to give their word. No. People go to church to show up and show out. And the type of things that go on in church. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. People be pregnant by the pastors and the people in the choir. It be a lot of dirt going on in church. Don't let them people fool you. Some of the dirtiest shit go under the supposedly cleanest places. Yeah. In the jails, the cops be fucking each other. In the hospitals, the doctors be fucking each other. And in the churches, the choirs and the preachers and whoever else, the deacons. Don't play. Don't let them people fucking fool you. Okay, God is going to accept you for who you are. He made you. How you fooling the person that made you? I don't know if y'all need help figuring this out, but maybe you came across this video for a reason. And the reason may be to tell you, it's okay to be who you are. God will accept you for who you is. You ain't got to pay nobody to prove to him that you're trying to do the right thing. What the fuck does that mean? What does it mean? God is going to show you your blessings and bigger things. He shows within actions, not in words. So what them people saying up there in that goddamn church don't show for nothing and don't mean nothing. You got to find yourself. And this proves why you can't listen between the bishop and the nature boys and all of the absurd things that we have to deal with in this lifetime, baby, it's really scary and it really shows how much people are just trying to find something to believe in at this point. It don't matter what the hell it is. If people can find time to believe in a rock, they're going to believe in that fucking rock because it seems like nothing else got nothing good going on. So if something could take their mind off of what their life really is, I think that's what the diagnosis is at this point. Sometimes people be scared to face themselves so they find other outlets. And those outlets will hurt you. This man living his life, he, he robbed these people for $400,000. And these people probably saved their last $4. $4 to put in that damn plate in church that day and probably didn't even have dinner to eat when they got home just trying to hope that God see them and bless them meanwhile he hopping out of Benzes and this, this ain't just started it ain't just started this been years and this ain't good this ain't gonna be the ending because right now Jewel, 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 however the hell, Jewel, Austin, them been exposed so many times. And people still sending this man donat donations thinking it's going to get them closer to God. You make it make sense. Because it don't. Anyway, this is your girl, Tay. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your girl alive. Hit, hit the subscribe button, friend. Hit, hit the button. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hopefully you come again and your girl is out. This is some bullshit. We got pastors, well, party promoters acting like pastors. This is crazy. Mm -mm.